Hi guys, welcome to Sustainable Stace. It's a windy day and we're checking on the bees. Today's a day in this episode where we're gonna check for mites and learn how to treat them very simply with Mite Away Quick Strips. Stay tuned. I'm Stacy Taves. For me, healthy food and sustainability are totally connected. You can grow it yourself. Nature is generous. Hi guys, welcome back. I just want to show you how to test for mites in your beehive, which is really important in the middle, late part of August, so that as you head into the winter time, your bees will be disease free. Because not only are mites nasty, they get under the cap of the brood chamber and start destroying the babies before they even hatch. They also carry a lot of nasty viruses. There's a really simple non-invasive way to check for mites and you can do it by just taking the slide that comes out of the bottom of your hive, bottom board. I put an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper on it and any type of cooking oil. This isn't actually gonna make contact with the bees. You're just gonna put that oil on there and it's gonna become a trap for the mites. And normally, I put it under my beehive for three days and any mites that fall off through the bottom of the screen in the hive are gonna end up getting caught in this oil and that way when they're trapped here and you pull out the board later, probably with really good reading glasses or a magnifying glass, you'll be able to count them all because it won't just be mites that fall out. It'll little be parts of bees, it'll be maybe some wings and legs, it'll be pollen and all sorts of things that fall. But if you slide this in under your hive, you're ready to check for mites. Now here you can see two different bottom boards that I pulled out of my hive one and hive two. After three days, you can see that in the one hive, each pink dot's indicating a mite. There's very few, and many would recommend there's not even a need to treat because there's so few mites, there's really no um, weakening of the hive because of those few mites. They're gonna survive just fine, the bees will, without any treatment. But you can see now on hive number two, there's a problem. I think there's 21 different dots there, little pink circles, and that's after three days, so a one-day test would show you about seven mites per day falling off and getting trapped in the oil. So that means, da 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 it's time to do something about it, and middle of August is the best time. So we're gonna go into the hive, and I'm gonna show you what to do when you're in the hive. It's really simple when you get going. You just wanna take some Mite Away Quick Strips, and there's a double dose in here, one each for two hives, and I'm gonna show you what to do in today's video, so we're gonna go into the hive. Stay tuned and see what we do. Welcome back, guys. All I've done to check for my mites is to put bottom board uh, slide in, put an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper on it, and oil it. I slid it in for three days and then did a mite count. I've got two hives here and the one closest to the camera is the one that needs mite treatment, the one further away does not. So I'm just gonna go inside the hive and show you how to put in the thymol strips to treat them organically. Okay guys, we're going in. We're just gonna use these thymol strips right here and we're just gonna need one pack of them. I'll just have those opened up and ready. They're really strong. You can only open those up with such a strong odor when you're outside. We're just gonna open this up and the thymol strips are gonna go in between the two boxes. This hive has a brand new queen in it who's laying, so she's doing a wonderful job. Lots there. Just looking for a sign of babies before I treat. If you watch my other videos, you know I always go the third in from the left to the right, the third frame. That's just my personal thing. Lots of pollen. Looking for something else. You can see the pollen there. Look at that, it's beauty. Oh, there's a good sign here. I just want to check one other thing while those are there. Just to see how our queen's doing. And yep, proof of the queen that's laying. You can see right there the uncapped brood. So we know that in the last few days she's been laying. Oh, and there's lots on both sides. Looks absolutely beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for a new queen. The most amazing thing here is that we lost the queen in this hive earlier in the season. So without a queen, the hive's destined to die and fail. I took a frame, a fresh brood from the neighboring hive where the queen was laying well, and the bees in this hive knew what to do, and they turned 
two or three day old larva into the chosen one and they got a new queen out of that. So now all we're gonna do, now that we know the queen's looking good and everything's working fine, we're just gonna snip open one of these packets. There's usually a nice little marking spot right there where the scissor goes. We're just gonna cruise right in there. And you could never do this inside because the odor is strong. Formic acid is what's the active ingredient here and formic acid occurs organically. Bees and ants use it for defense against predators. And the mites, if they are not dealt with, will completely overrun the hive with viruses and such. And the result will be that the bees will not survive into the winter, they'll have disease. So we're just gonna put one there. The paper's left on, as you'll see. And I'm just gonna slide the bees down here. Put one more here, just really carefully. That's all you need to do. Active for about a week, and it should kill off, should kill off all the mites. Put this box back on top. So as we wrap up, guys, I just want to cover with you that you would never want to let bees go untreated. If they've got mites, they will shut down and extinguish the entire hive. So you got to be checking regularly for your mites. Again, that's something that with a flow hive you'd never be able to do. You have to go in the hive and check. Or, as I said, put an oiled bottom board in and you'll have to go in the hive to treat. There's a few other ways to treat, but this is, I think, the most organic and safest way to do. And in seven days, it'll do the job of dealing with all the mites. And also you can have young brood in there and you could even have a honey super on at the same time. Hope that helps you out. Happy beekeeping. Okay, now that we're back here, guys, after being in the hive, you've seen what to do to check for the mites and how to treat for the mites as well. The other thing to note is because the vapors are very strong coming off those formic acid packs, it's important to take out any entrance reducers at the front of the hive so that there's good airflow through the hive during the seven days while those quick strips are in place. We hope that's helpful for you guys today on Sustainable Stace. If you want to find out more helpful tips that are hopeful and helpful and healthy, please check down here in the bottom right of your screen and subscribe to the channel for Sustainable Stace. And if you check out sustainablestace.com on the website, you can find out more. Thanks for watching.